All right, so we have a Kith Fox file Ford package here. And here it is here, it's an R2800. And it consists of, obviously, the, the new engine. We've got an oil tank here. And all the various bits and pieces that go with the motor. It's been fitted with an exhaust collector ring. You can just see through the plastic there. All wrapped up, ready to go, all these bits and pieces. Then we've got the, um, the uh, Kit Fox engine mount, which we do for the Mark, basically all the, all the models, right through the Model 7. That one there, I believe, is a Mark 4. And then the bump cow is going with the engine as well. So there's a pretty much a pretty comprehensive firewall forward. Uh, oil tank engine mount, bump cow, engine and accessories with um, TBI carburetor and um, all the accessories. It's pretty much going to look like that. This is my own Kit Fox here. This is actually a Model 3, but it's pretty much got the same engine mount and um, uh, oil tank setup that we have here. Um, <clears throat> so once again, R2800, this is the bump cow. Uh, it's been trimmed. Just to clear the exhaust back there, you can just see the exhaust ring in there. This engine's got about, this setup's got about 120 hours on it now. There's your nice big 76 inch prop. And there's your, your bump cow. And uh, then over here we've got another Kit Fox. This is a Kit Fox Model 4. It's all painted up, a bit dusty, but it's all painted up, ready to go. Just needs final assembly. But uh, what I've got here is, uh, again, same engine mount, exactly the same as the one before I showed you. And um, just a five point mount. Actually, the geometry works out really well. See, it triangulates nicely, clears the engine beautifully. I've just got a dummy 2800 crankcase here, uh, which I've just used for um, mocking up to put all the oil lines and everything on. What was really nice is uh, the previous kit box, the black one there. Um, I've just done everything exactly the same. Uh, put the, all the parts in the same position the filter block, all the oil lines, starter motor wiring, the fuel pump, plumbing, all the oil lines. There's my dual ignition there, the two modules and coils, scavenge pump, as you see the alternator there. Yeah, so this will come off now and the, the real engine's about to go on. Uh, you can see how it all works. Um, so yeah, pretty much put everything in exactly the same spot. Made it easy. On the back side of the firewall, there's an oil tank, and you can see all the return lines coming through the firewall there, including the fuel line, and then they just go down to the oil tank there, you can see I've got them. They're just low pressure return lines, they don't have any pressure on them, so I'll just post clamp them on. Then under the oil tank, just above the rudder pedals there, you can see you've got your pickup, that is a, a mechanically um, fitted oil line, so that's... that's uh, even though it's actually under no pressure, it's on the suction side. Um, that's it. So there's your oil tank. And then what we've got is just a fairly large hose. It just goes through the firewall with a hard point there and then curls up to uh, to the cow. And then what I've done, I'll show what I did on, on my one. I'm going to do exactly the same on this one. And basically that just sits, just sits above the top of the boot cow there. So that's how it all plums up. So there's plenty of room there behind the panel and it's just a fairly basic Garmin panel the Garmin GX3 or 3GX I think it's in there panel and radio and basic engine gauges there we supply all those engine gauges quite nice so it's pretty this is this little area here is where I'm going to put an iPad with a uh, with an actually a, uh, an autopilot so that's that and there's another engine and there's all the bits and pieces all painted up, ready to go on the plane. It should look quite nice when it's done. So yeah, made a, some custom fiberglass parts. This is going to be a nice part, this one here. Don't wreck it. I made a nice little, where the rudder and the elevator meet on the fuselage, I made a fiberglass fairing. That's going to look really nice. You won't see your kit fox. Pretty basic installation, just engine mount, mount the engine. We run the original boot cows. Um, so yeah, the boot cows are exactly the same. Kit fox here. Yeah, so that boot cow there and there, 
is all standard. All that's been done is um, just trimmed it for the windshield and as I showed you before, I've got the same oil, oil filler neck there as well. It's quite neat, I like it there. I don't have any flaps or caps to remove. I just take the oil cap off and top up my oil. Anyway, there you go. Kit Fox and R2800. 